Hi, I'm Mark Judsmith, head football coach at the University of North Alabama. I appreciate everyone joining me today as we talk a little football. And I want to talk a, a, about a few things that's helped us be successful in the last few years. And, you know, as football has evolved and all of us uh, offensive coaches, our schemes have evolved. And each year we're adding things to, to, our, to our game plan or to our playbook. And we're tweaking the things we're already doing. Uh, I want to talk to you a couple about a couple of things that has helped us be successful. And, you know, in today's uh, world of quick fixes, uh, fast food, you know, we're always wanting things done quickly and fast, and, and gaining yards is no different. Uh, you know, obviously we want to gain yards as fast as we can, as many as we can, but that's not always easy. But I wanted to talk to you today about a couple of things that, uh, a couple of ways I feel like that you can get some, some quick yards, uh, and some, some great calls, I think, that are really good first down calls. And also, just like I've talked before about in some other of, of our video series, ways to get the balls to your playmakers. And I really feel like these plays do that. And we're going to talk today about bubbles and spots. And these are quick throws. And uh, just like uh, a lot of the schemes that we as offensive coaches ran in the past, you know, the option offense at one point was really prevalent in college football, and now it has evolved. But be honest with you, the, the concepts or the play designs are you're still looking for the same things. Uh, I know we're still looking for obviously the side of the, of the field to run the ball to that's got the least amount of defensive guys over there. And then secondly, we're looking for ways to, to get people out leveraged. So if you can find a, a way to run it to where they're not, and if you can get uh, the defensive uh, personnel out leveraged, then I think you've got a huge advantage. And a lot of times I don't think we take advantage uh, of those situations when we have them. So I want to talk to you a couple, uh, about a couple of things today. And, and we already talked about getting the ball to your best, best athletes. Force defenders to make open field tackles in space. And that's another thing I think is very difficult with today's uh, athletes is uh, you've got some really good wide outs trying to give them the ball in space to make those uh, secondary guys have to make an open field tackle, uh, especially while being stalk blocked. Uh, a lot easier uh, to make a tackle if you're a linebacker or a defensive lineman when you're in, in a condensed area and you've got another defender two or three feet away from you. But when you're in open space and you've got uh, – about a 20-yard area that you've got to cover, then it makes it a little more difficult. Taking advantage of numbers. Anytime we have a number situation, we want to try to take advantage of it, whether we're in the perimeter or whether we're in the box. And then another thing, too, you've got to, got to and I had to understand, is when you're calling bubbles or you're calling screens, a lot of times I know we've, we've been the world worst at, at, at times of we call a screen to start the game or at some point early in the first quarter, and boom, you get hit for, for minus one or a no-gainer. Uh, everybody in the box is all screaming, oh, man, don't come back to that. They, they're, they're cued in on that. They're ready for that. Well, then you go back and you watch your game film the next day and you see, well, one of your guys went the wrong way or he didn't execute. Well, you got to come back and give that play another chance. I know I've been the world's worst. We'll call the zone or the veer, and it, it'll get no gain or no yards, but we'll come right back and call that again 20, 20 more times. So don't be afraid to call that screen again or that bubble if uh, – if it's not successful for, for, for a play. Uh, here, here's the plays I want to talk about. Bubbles and spots. First, uh, talking about bubbles. For us, it's all a numbers game. Anytime that we can get a number advantage in the perimeter, we like throwing bubbles. And here's a few ways that we're going to throw bubbles. First is play.